the blue and white shirts are rustling then as the Owls prepare to get this fixture off and underway. It's pushed back to Bannon, who's just on the rim of the centre circle. He fires it high and long out towards the uh, far side of the pitch and uh, Sheffield Wednesday will look to try and get on the uh, front foot early or clearly that will be the hope John Pearson for their management staff yeah that's the way we set off I mean that was the uh, old-fashioned ball into the uh, up into uh, Cambridge's uh, defense I think Patterson's just take a knock to the head Here's Shea Dunkley as Wednesday try and play it out from the back. Ayorfa into the feet of Delhi Bashiru and a first time ball by Ayorfa before the instep of Jack Hunt gets the ball very tidily indeed to Gregory. The move breaks down on the centre spot though. Cambridge United have it back and immediately look to break forward. And here's Smith into the penalty area. He tries to get the shot away, but the clearing block came across from Shea Dunkley. It goes out of play for a throw in on the near side. Last ditch defending for the Owls, no doubt and it was something that could have been avoided. It's uh, partially cleared out towards the far side and uh, up to the edge of the penalty area now. Good little break here for Cambridge as it's worked in towards Ironside, but Bannon deep in the penalty area clears it to touch on the far side. So Cambridge having a little spell here, John Pearson. Well, yeah, we're struggling to clear our lines. We're just sending the big centre off. It's going to go up now. Yep, uh, striding forward from the back, Connor Masterson, another Liverpool trainee who's made his career at the Abbey Stadium. So, throw in from the far side, looped into the penalty area, Peacock Farrell comes, punches clear, he's out of position, and the header over the crossbar from Joe Ironside, almost a goal for Cambridge United, it came after Peacock Farrell's punch lacked uh, any real direction, Cambridge immediately tossed it back into the danger zone, and Ironside has missed a golden chance to hand the home side the lead. Well, he's got to ask himself, and he'll be, th he'll be thinking about that all night. In the away end, shuffling on their feet. The visitors come again, Williams will strike one! And it's driven long from outside the penalty area. It skids along the surface and is just wide. Concerns mounting for Wednesday. It remains nil-nil. So it is football heaven. It is BBC Radio Sheffield. And uh, Cambridge, the better team here against Sheffield Wednesday. But no goals. As one swung in by Williams. Well, clearly, again, Ironside was the target. It didn't make contact with anybody in blue and white or uh, yellow and black. Yeah, if Wednesday wanted to be a bit more defensive in that part of the pitch, I suppose they Good have a there. couple of options. Oh, lucky. As Gregory tried to loop the ball over the uh, defender, Connor Masterson, couldn't do it. And it's uh, then cleared away by Cambridge United. Upfield it goes, Dunkley's backward header, and it goes behind for a corner. So the wind billows around here at the uh, Abbey Stadium. Corners won't be easy at either end. This one into the near post, glancing header, and it's gone in! And uh, Cambridge United have the lead. It's a uh, diving header which gave Bailey Peacock Farrell absolutely no chance. And George Williams, the former Barnsley man, is the player who has got it. And Cambridge United have made hay. And they've got the lead that their start deserves. Wednesday must come back from this. Cambridge won, Wednesday nil. With Luongo and Windass absent. No Hutchinson or Gibson either. So potentially important players, but ultimately oh, the lovely. ball is split through here. And now Wing bears down on goal. Oh, he took an extra touch, and that brought a chance for Mitov to make the save. And in the end, a glorious chance to equalise goes, begging. I mean, that was superb. How they got him free, and it was a great run from Wing. He'd done the hard work. I think you hit that first time, you just keep it over, the goalkeeper would have gone to ground, I think you just lift it over him. Wednesday now have possession of the football on the right-hand side, attacking towards their travelling supporters. And here's Palmer. Palmer will look up, he's wanting a runner. None is coming, so he has to go square to Johnson. Smith's at Johnson and dispossesses him. The referee thinks fairly, the Cambridge fan stands to their feet in protest. He, he gains us 20, 30 yards and then he's looking for a forward pass. That's a good ball from Bannon. Up to the edge of the penalty area, Deli Bashiru looking to turn, inside right channel of the box. Still going, Deli Bashiru! And he hits the Desperate. rasping drive low. Desperate. And the ball is... I think that's hit the post. Off the post and behind. Yeah. That's hit the post. It's a great piece of uh, work from uh, Deli Bashiru. I thought the keeper may have got a hand to it, no, but uh, no good work. 
So Hunt having a 50-50 battle with the ball on the near side. It's uh, picked up by uh, Cambridge United. Oh. Brophy sweep it infield to Williams. And now the counter-attack begins in earnest. Helped out towards the uh, far touchline here. Cambridge uh, sweeping forward a pace up to the iron side, who's just inside the box. Shooting chance, having a swing and a miss at it. It's a goal now, scramble. The uh, player... Weir goes down, May is in the thick of the action too as well, and Wednesday a little fortunate that strong connection well. wasn't made there by Adam May. Referee's just spotted something, Dennis Adeniran in the thick of the action, so too Iorfa. Bit of shirt pulling, so in comes the corner from the left-hand side, into the penalty area, glancing backward, header away, out it goes to Hunt on the edge of the box. Got to be honest, John, given the fact that it's an open stand here, I think I saw some blue and white flashing lights driving past at speed as Bannon takes aim, trying to catch the keeper unawares, and he's pushed the ball down away for a corner, pouncing to the left. That was a great effort from Barry Bannon. I was right behind that, and I just thought for a moment he might have caught a goalkeeper uh, snoozing. Just uh, confirmed contact, I'll say that. So free kick Wednesday. Bannon has the ball at his feet now, looking to the right-hand side. The ball is spun beautifully, as you might expect, onto the toe end of Hunt. He drives past his marker, squeezes the cross in past Iredale, corner, well and Digby concedes the corner. Corner to Sheffield Wednesday. Football heaven Wednesday needs something. Bannon will take it into the penalty area. Oh, and it's cleared off the line, I think. Keeper flapped at it, the defender in the way, and the ball ultimately is looped over the net and gone behind. To extend that lead, in goes a throw-in into the penalty area. Downward header clearance by Iorfa, and then a nudge from Brophy. Could only make the scantest of contacts. It goes through towards Peacock Farrell, and uh, he quickly gobbles at the ball. Now the counter-attack on the near side, Deli Bashiru has uh, Digby for company, but he cuts him past him. Still going, Deli Bashiru. Good-looking run here to Gregory. Good use of the ball as he shields it well. Then he brings in Bannon 30 yards out. It's rolled wide to the far side. In comes Johnson! who hits a pile driver following up and Cambridge clear it to the stand on the far side well, when's his best move of the second half starting from the bike finish it from the right hand side of the bike finish it up with Marvin Johnson firing that shot in so Johnson having been tendered to is now back on and uh, in the end, the ball skies at field from left to right. Football heaven on BBC Radio oh, Sheffield. Good touch, good touch. In it comes now to Deli Bashiru. Yes, has equalised. Maybe there is light then in the gloom. Wednesday, second best for much of the game, have equalised with 11 minutes of normal time to go. Maybe, just maybe, they can turn this game on its head. As Fiseo Deli Bashiru finally scores for Sheffield Wednesday, it's 1-1. Shadipo's gone after it, gets there just before it goes out of play. Shadipo, good close control. He's hacked at, he has his leg swiped, he loses the ball, he won't get a free kick, and uh, Cambridge clear it towards halfway. Now Palmer picks up the loose ball, finds Bannon. Bannon infield now, Adeniran needs an option. Quickly he's closed down, Bannon on the arcing run behind now, Bannon. Back to Bannon, lovely build-up play, Shadipo. Look to shoot on the turn, Deli Bashiru, wide it comes once again to Palmer, all of a sudden the light's gone on at Sheffield Wednesday, Bannon into the box, glancing header, Palmer with that header, and it's a world-class stop, nothing Palmer could do about that from Mitov as the ball is pushed behind for a corner. Great save, to be honest. Yes, uh, Liam's going to be gutted, he stayed onside, through one-on-one, and all the goal to aim at. It's driven long up to the edge of the penalty area, flicked on by Digby, might drop on the edge of the penalty area. One or two screams of a penalty, non-forthcoming, quite rightly so, There's as the, the referee the does indeed call full-time. Cambridge 1, Sheffield Wednesday 1.